This is a common point worrying about inheritance tax. It's becoming a huge subject and more and more people are falling into the inheritance tax bracket simply due to the values of their houses swallowing up a large portion of their allowance. You may have heard a quote by Lord Jenkins, inheritance tax is a voluntary tax paid by those who distrust their heirs more than they dislike the inland revenue. Although this is a bit of tongue in cheek, it is broadly true. People seem to put off planning to legally mitigate this tax and as a result their families lose out. Why would they do that? I don't understand. After all, they've spent many years building a business, generating wealth, investing wisely so not to lose it. Many people have received inheritances from older generations already. All this only to not plan properly for this end of life problem that will simply not go away. This subject is far too big to cover in this short video here, but briefly, each individual has an allowance on their death. It's currently 325,000 in the current 2012-2013 tax year. This is known as the nil rate band. It's been set to remain at this level until 2015. And married couples have since 2009 been able to transfer their nil rate band or the percentage that they haven't used to their spouse. Now that sounds good, but this in itself is hard work to comply with, but it is possible. On death, the executors or the administrators, these are the people responsible for the winding up of the estate, they must add up all the assets that the estate has and then take away all the liabilities of that estate. They will then arrive at a net figure from which they can take away the annual allowance. The remainder is then taxed at 40%, which must be paid to HMRC. There are some other allowances that we can include, but we won't go into those here. Now, if you were to carry out this calculation on your own estate, you might be shocked to find out how much tax your estate will actually generate. So if this is described as a voluntary tax, what is the solution? Well, there are a number of methods that can be employed. We utilise methods referred to in the Asset Protection Strategy. A combination of correctly written wills and various trusts, holding assets in the most tax efficient manner and our gifting and spending programme. All the time following your wishes and instructions of how and when assets can be protected and assessed. If this has created any other questions, please look around our website to find out more. Why not download our 7 ways to reduce inheritance tax PDF or call the number shown to discuss your circumstances in more detail and secure your family's financial future.